So I'm going to browse to the location where I downloaded and install the management packs. I then select the management packs. I then click on install. And so now we see Active Directory Management Packs being listed. And under Monitors, we can change scope to list all the Active Directory monitors that have been imported from these Management Packs. So these are all the monitors applicable to Active Directory Management Pack. Back in the Monitoring tab, we will now see a section for Windows Active Directory Monitoring. And if I go to Windows Computers under the Monitoring tab, and I go to Health Explorer for the Domain Controller on my network, I'm going to see some new monitors. If I scroll, we will see the name of the management pack where these monitors were obtained. So we see some new monitors for Active Directory Database and Log File Monitors. And these were obtained from the Active Directory Domain Controller 2003 Computer Rules. And we are getting a warning here. If we click on it, this performance monitor measures the responsiveness of Active Directory to LDAP and measures response time. It may be because the performance of the Active Directory server is in a warning state. And if we click on one of the Exchange server computers, and go to Health Explorer. We will see monitors specific to the Exchange 2003 management pack. For example, the SMTP service monitor on the server OA. So if I were to stop the SMTP service on the server OA, that should generate a critical event state warning in SCOM for the OA server. And similarly on the backend server called server we also see new exchange role monitors for this backend server. And back in the dashboard if we refresh we see that OA is now in a critical state. This is because the Exchange 2003 monitor which monitors the service SM SMTP detects that the SMTP service has been stopped and then therefore issues a critical state for the OWA server. So this ends our tutorial on installing management packs for System Center Operation Manager 2007 R2.